right, we're headed in. We're on the, the road on our way to the trailhead. It's uh, September 18th, heading in for our uh, deer hunt slash bear hunt adventure. I'm excited. It's a nice morning, beautiful morning. Clouds are kind of leaving, which is good. We're talking about a little bit of rain today. Oh, get out of here. Um, just looking beautiful, more and more beautiful the further we get in, which is awesome. Um, yeah, I'm excited. It's gonna be day one today, hiking in, set up camp. And, uh, yeah, just get in, set up camp, and start glassing. Probably rest our legs after we get in. <laughs> find water. Find water. We need to find water. Yeah, that's our number one plan is to get in, find water, and camp close to that water. Even if we have to drop down, because we need water. But, you guys excited? Oh, yeah. Nick, how are you feeling? What are your thoughts? Physically, I feel 110%. I feel like I'm ready to run up the mountain. How about mentally? Mentally, I'm about 40%. I'm a little anxious about... I just feel like I gotta cover too much ground. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to hunt these <laughs> things. So I'm just gonna follow the leader boys. for us to enjoy and that you've given us the yeah, it's so freaking heavy. Worth it. So that was point seven. Got point seven miles and we got about another two and a quarter probably. Here we are, it is uh, day two of our hunt. We hiked in yesterday and it was just kind of crazy. I don't know, we we had heavy packs and we got up there good. It took us four hours to get to the top, but then from the top coming down into here where we wanted to be, it was, I mean, it was hard to get down here, which now that we're here, there's a new trail over here, so we'll be okay getting out, but it was just kind of crazy and then it rained on us for hours and then we're trying to set up our tents in the rain and it's blowing and we can't find water and I thought I don't know I was going crazy I was thinking we we're gonna go out today but then Nick decides to go on a walkabout right before dark and he saved our hunt yeah but morale was low at an all-time <laughs> low coming down that mountain yesterday we had what I like, to, I like to call a paralysis of analysis we sat up on that little shelf up there for two hours. Oh, at least two hours. <laughs> just looking like, on us. should we go down here? Should we go down here? And we just sat, I was just like, nobody wanted to make a decision. That was kind of tough. Yeah. And then setting up and getting rained on was, oh my gosh. And then the clouds broke and it was beautiful. And then we yeah. found water. Yeah. And something else happened that was really encouraging. It's just kind of like. The plan gone. is, it's supposed to get pretty nasty weather today. A lot of rain, some snow maybe. So we're gonna, while it's not raining, we're gonna load up our packs with just a few things. First order of business is to go fill up and get as much water as we can as we're getting pretty low, especially for cooking. And then, uh, um, so we probably won't do a whole lot of hunting today. I mean, if we happen to see one, you know, we'll see one. But other than that, we're gonna basically just kind of get regrouped because yesterday was just a cluster. Thank you. 
Yeah. yeah, see where it kind of dug it down? It put the base of it in there. I face it toward it. And it runs into it. some glass in. Beautiful country. It's crazy. Got Nick, got Matt. There's a bunch of elk way over here. If you can see them, oh yeah, you can see them. A bunch of them over there. There's at least one bull. Might be more. We were glassing. It didn't glass for very long and then this moved in. We knew it was coming. It was just a matter of time. It's like a sleet, rain, snow type stuff right now. But I feel like we're gonna get socked in pretty good here, so. Well, here we are having a little cup of coffee and get out of the rain and snow, I should say. Snowing and raining like crazy. We hiked up just on the point here and, um, yeah, you can see a lot from up there, but we thought we'd come back here and get out of the snow and rain and it's uh, starting to build up a little bit. That little coffee, warm up. Pretty good out there. We might. Yeah, we might be in here for a while. Yeah, I don't know. It's about all we can do right now, which is fine. We finally got everything organized. We're ready to hunt. We went on our first hunt and it wasn't far, but you can see forever up there, which is nice. Found a good glassing spot. All right, it is the afternoon of the second day we're in here. And we have a giant snowstorm going. So we are sitting in the tents, staying warm and dry. Yep. Just uh, stopped snowing on us, so we thought we'd come out. Maybe start a fire, get a little dry. There's a couple of going to fawns over here, got and feeding, so that's a good sign. But yeah, it was pretty nasty for a while. And it's gotten cold and it's just turned into winter. Yes, it did. So we haven't been able to do much today because of this, but. Oh well. All right, it's the morning, day three. And as you can tell, we got some snow last night. It's coming down pretty hard. It snowed for, I don't know, 14, 16 hours straight yesterday. Probably got six, eight inches down here. Imagine up top, they got a little bit more. Tents, made it. Nix is uh, a little buried in here. You in there, Nick? You alive in there, Nick? Are you, are you alive in there? I'm alive. <laughs> Barely. And that. There's Matt right there. And so we got a bunch of stuff's wet, and we got to make sure that our tents and all of our gear here sleeping is good. So we're probably going to deal with that this morning and go out and try and find something. But we got to make sure that all of our stuff is good first. So. Living with the owls. There's the bull. He's even closer. He's got to be about 200. How close do you think he is? He's coming into the sun. He just bugled.
¿sabes? Best buck of the trip so far. Just a three by three. No forks in the front. But at least he's got a frame though anyway. And there was a spiker up there with him too and a little two by two that worked down to the right. What are you doing, Matt? Well, I uh, developed a blister on the way up into here. And since then, yesterday, it kind of got worse. The skin fold over the blister ripped off. So now I put some duct tape on, but I'm gonna put a little bit more on. Just get her nice and taped up. Got blister right on the inside. Right there, about the size of my thumbnail. So I'm hoping that this will work. In the meantime, let's go over to Nick with his breakfast. You want to hear my problems? Yeah. No, tell us what you have for breakfast. What oh. you got? Granola, chocolate covered espresso beans, sliced almonds, dehydrated strawberries, and blueberries. Powdered milk, add a little water. 700 calories, just a few ounces, it's awesome. It's yeah. a good breakfast. Highly recommended. Well, it's the morning of day four, and uh, we're hiking out of the basin that we're camped in. We're gonna get up on the big ridge and look into a couple of these other basins if we can. Um, beautiful day, blue skies, sun's out, it's cold. Probably got down in the low 20s, high teens last night. Um, but it's supposed to be a nice day today, so we're just hiking up. Gonna get up on top of the ridge and look at a couple other basins because I think these bucks are way high up at the top of all these basins, so <sighs> try to find something and make sure that we can get it out of there, be the key. Uh, here we go. Yeah, he looks pretty decent. I'd get your gun, Matt. He looks pretty okay. looking. Well, came up here toward the top and two bucks right up above us, 140 yards. It's just not quite big enough, you know. They're moving off now. Yeah, he had good backs, kind of tighter fronts. Out to his ears, maybe an inch past, but nice and tall. Good buck, but looking for something a little bit bigger. He would have been in a great spot to back up. <laughs> but I came here for a bigger one, so I'm gonna stick to that. But that was pretty cool, right off the trail. I had him dead rights. That's the first opportunity. <coughs> first opportunity at a decent buck. that deer's lucky I don't have a take. <laughs> Here, working our way south, and ran across the first set of uh, bear tracks. Doesn't look like a huge bear. I mean, it's in the last, well, it has to be in the last day. 
you know. Looks fairly fresh, to be honest with you. Yeah. Went right up in here. Pretty cool. Let's go find him. Kill him. Working. Keep working away this way. Maybe we'll run into him. Be nice. end of Tuesday, <laughs> day four, I think. It's all out everywhere. Now I'm just about back to camp. Get a big loop up top today. Saw a lot of country. Saw some elk, saw some bears, saw some bear sign. It's a fun day. Just uh, no big bucks, just that one. We tried to find him again this afternoon. If he would uh, give, a, give us a shot. Uh, possibly might take him, but he didn't show up, so we'll keep hunting. But uh, beautiful evening, man. It's awesome. Rip. Well, it's morning of day five. Getting ready to, to roll, grabbing our food down from the tree. To throw in our pack, and then we're going to head up the mountain, kind of same route as yesterday. See if we can find a couple bucks, or just one buck even. It's Wednesday morning, headed up, same spot as we went yesterday. Saw a couple bucks at the top, we're going to see if they're still there or not. Pick them out and then just head around, set up top in class for a while. Beautiful morning night again last night, but uh, so it's going to be warm today, I can already tell, which is good. So yeah, it felt pretty good. You were laying down there. Yeah. There's a little tree on his left side, but 
Didn't hear the whap, it's the only thing. Yeah, I didn't hear a whap either. Well, let's get our stuff and go up there. Yeah. I'm nervous. We got a hit. Good. Got Felt some blood. I hit him, so hopefully just double lunged him and we'll find him. It's good blood. Good blood. Good blood. Oh, good blood here, so it's a good sign. Can't believe he's going up. Get that deer. <laughs> good job. Right there. Got him. I have no idea how big he is. All I saw was frame. We got a deer, guys. We have worked our butts off. And I believe we came up here yesterday morning, passed on a buck. It might be the same one. Good day. Guys, we got one. We did it. Good job. Came up in here this morning. Just happened to look up and see a body. Oh. <laughs> just, Good job. Oh, why am I? I thought I missed him because he just didn't do anything. And I, no thought, pop. I thought you missed him too. Uh. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you could have shot him in a better spot. I know. No. <laughs> top oh, of the thank you guys so much. We are at oh, the very gosh. top up here. We're about, what, 9,500 feet we're up at here? We're 95 at least here because we're higher than that ridge. Oh man. We're and on the top. the trail to go out of here <clears throat> is right up here. Like yeah. 500 yards away and then it's all downhill. Oh, this, is a, this is crazy. It feels so good. This feels so good. And to have you guys with and like help out with all this and you're kind of doing it for me. Granted, you're doing it, you know, for yourselves too, a little bit, but oh, yeah. you're helping me out a ton. <laughs> oh, I don't even know how big it is. I don't even care. Yeah. Like, it's a mountain buck, you know. I mean, it's just it's yeah. a different kind of experience. First Wyoming deer. We did it. We got it done. We hiked our butts off. Oh my gosh, dude! I think go get a I'm get some hands on it. Good work. I have no idea how big no, it is even yet. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. I'm almost like. That's a mass. He does have a lot of mass. A chocolatey mass for you. Look at that body. My goodness. Nothing to see. Yeah, I think it's more than yesterday. Look at how big that body is. That is. <coughs> he's a good buck. It is, it's the one from yesterday, I think. Is it? Does not have brow tines, really? Yeah, he's got a sizable body on him. Look at the size of that. Looks like a looks like he's in a rut. Oh guys. <gasps> That's Good awesome. Job, Thank job. you. Good Thank job. Thank you guys. I never doubted you for a minute. When Matt Moo pulls the trigger, things drop. Well, it is our fifth day of the hunt and we have hunted our butts off trying to find nice bucks and we haven't we've seen five bucks in four days hunting. Granted two of them were weather days, but they really seem to hang out like this point, kind of way up on top. Because this is two days in a row, and this is a different buck than I, that I passed up from yesterday. Um, he's a lot better than I, <laughs> he's a good buck. He he's got good mass. I mean, he's missing the back fork a little bit there. But real good mass. <laughs> you know, he's a great Wyoming buck. I'm super happy with him. And, and just to go through all this work and, you know, in the back country, and this is our first true back country stay way in here hunt. And, Man, it just feels so good. I mean, I'm sure there's bigger deer out there, but I am super happy with this buck. He is beautiful. Can't wait to take him home and eat him. We got a lot of good meat here. This is, he's a big body deer. I'm so happy that Nick and Andy were able to do this with me. And I don't think I'd been able to do it without you guys. And it's been a blast. I mean, we've hiked their butts off. My shoulders are sore. I got blisters. Oh, it just feels so good. And it's Wednesday. We can probably get him out and the camp out today. This has been a fun, fun hunt and it's not over yet. We got still a couple more days in this country, so we got some work to do, but won't be too bad. No, 
It'd be a lot easier in a lot of places. It'd be a lot easier than a lot of places to get you to deer near. He, uh, we had to kind of rush because I mean they were looking at us. We were loud in the bottom. We were only like 150 um, yards from. Yeah, him. it was I actually. I ranged it. It was 140 on the dot, and I thought I'd missed, but um, yeah, at that range, a guy shouldn't. <laughs> Which you know took us a little bit to find blood, but man, I'm happy. This is awesome. He's got good mass. Got a real good frame. That's what I saw. When I first saw him, I just saw he came up pretty good and had decent mass. And so I thought, you know, getting toward the end of our hunt and we're in a great spot to pack him out. Let's take him. And man, am I happy I did because that's a beautiful deer. That's a solid buck. That's like, a solid buck. He's, he's, he's good. Woo! Let's do it. <laughs> when I've gathered up my share of milk and honey, and all those honey dudes are done. I don't hibernate like some bears do I like to have a little fun Well, it's time to have a little fun Meats in the freezer, let's go skiing Woods all cutting in the shed And dancing through my mind are all those Got her all cut up, it's about 11 o'clock I think, right around there. Got the meat down close to the trail that we we're coming out on by camp here, um, up above camp. So we got all the meat hung. Um, everything went really good, I thought. Went pretty good, the hunt was great. I got a lot of good help here with these two guys. And I couldn't be happier, this has just been an awesome experience. Number one, two to shoot a buck like this is it's awesome, we got a lot of good meat, a lot of good memories. But we got a lot of work left too. So we gotta go down to camp, have some lunch, um, pack up camp and then head back up here. And then we got about four miles out roughly, but it's, it'll be on a trail and downhill so hopefully it's not too sloppy with some really heavy packs. But we'll have some adrenaline. Nick's gonna have some coffee. So he can wake some up, wake some up. I need to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been okay. good so far. Let's do it. Meats in the freezer, let's go skiing. Camp is just about loaded up. And we gotta head up to the top. How is it? Oh, We uh, <coughs> made it down from our deer slash bear hunt up there a day earlier, so we're gonna try to shoot a bear tomorrow. Maybe do some fly fishing, have some fun. We'll see, but yeah, we did it. We found a good buck. We got him out. Feels good. Good job. That was fun. Thank you guys. Mm -hmm.